predictably, our um, roof, my roof, I will take ownership of this, was out of square. So now we have to go back and fix that before we lay down our roofing. We did some math, which I know is everybody's favorite, and came up with a couple of key facts. Key fact number one, our shortest diagonal was 262 inches. If a structure is gonna be square, first things first, your diagonals have to match. But a trapezoid also will result in matching diagonals. And turns out we did in fact have a trapezoid. So our bottom here was about an uh, inch and a half longer than the top of the structure. Here is our trapezoid. It is 154 and a half at the top and 156 at the bottom. So when we measured from here up and from here down, instead of marking those in chalk, we cheated these over three quarters of an inch this way and three quarters of an inch this way, which gave us a total of an inch and a half, which meant that our top and our bottom was now the same. So what we did was measured in from that side down there, and we're gonna run the chalk line all the way up here to the corner of this purlin. And then on this side, we did the opposite. So we measured in from that corner over there, and we're gonna run the chalk line and cut all the way down to that corner. This is kind of what we had going on here. So you can tell that I sketched this out to make sure that it made sense in my brain. And um, the original is that parallelogram with the angled sides. And now we're squaring it up to make, shockingly enough, a square. This, now that we have it mocked up here, is going to be square. Or at least close enough. Because we have the pieces that go over the sides that allow you to um, cheat a little bit. Because it covers a multitude of sins. That mock-up that you just saw was our double check to make sure that that was gonna result in the correct um, level of squareness, <laughs> I'm sure there's a technical term, to allow us to get away with this. Now we're putting our face boards back on. That just covers the milled ends, protects them from the weather a little bit. And then it'll be time to put the roof on. Super exciting.